Welcome back to another Starcast TV and I am Scan. Today we are going to cast some fantastic game between Royal vs. Hero, Hero vs. Royal, and spawning location in the top right, the orange is Terran. This is Royal. And the other side of the player, spawning location in the bottom left, the yellow Zerg. This is Hero who recently got a third place in ASL season 11. He has been performing really really well in ZVT beating Rush and Light in round of 16 in ASL season 11. And we haven't gotten to see a Hero playing against Royal and let's see how they are going to be playing each other. We are going to be seeing Royal going to be sending out the uh, first SCV to the natural, putting down a supply depot already. So this is most likely going to be a two deep, two depot with a single barracks wall. Nothing so far going crazy. We can see Hero is immediately sending that uh, overlord towards the three o'clock side. Uh, some people may uh, consider why Hero is sending the first overlord like this because. If you send the uh, Overlord like directly all the way to the natural, if Royal ever does uh, 8 barracks at the natural and try to get the first Overlord, then uh, if the Overlord like the directly going towards the Royal's natural, then that Overlord will get picked up by the 8 racks. But uh, if he sends uh, slightly like going around all the way to like 4 o'clock side and then going up all the way, all the way up there, then he's not going to be losing the Overlord and we will be seeing 12 hatchery into 11 pool, 11 pool, and then 10 gas. So, classic 2 hatch Mira going for super fast tech. And no drone scout whatsoever. We are seeing Royal gonna be scouting Hero's natural, seeing how fast the hatchery is. And as soon as he confirms the hatchery timing, he will immediately gonna go for the 15 cc. And we see this is a 15 cc. So far, nothing going crazy. Okay, so far, um, not much of a stuff is going on so far. Royal will be immediately putting down the second depot, and no marine production still. And that SCV will going to do some uh, scout and see what's up. The barracks, uh, only one still. Second barracks as well. Scouting SCV. We'll be able to get some uh, more information over here. How much of a zergling uh, hero we making? Hero made four zerglings uh, total so far. Two drone mining at the net. Try to save this a uh, scouting SCV, but that scouting SCV has already 25 HP remaining. So uh, gotta be careful for Royal because Royal needs to save that scouting SCV long time and gets to see what kind of units is coming out from those egg. He gets to see that's a uh, third over that's just not coming up, but at the same time, we get to see Royal already rotated the second scouting SCV all the way to the nine o'clock side. So I am I'm surprised how fast that uh, scouting is. Scouting SCV will be hiding at the nine o'clock side. Academy is also going up, but we also get to see. Uh, Hero is sending this uh, drone all the way to 11 o'clock, so he's gonna be greedy. Both of the expansion has uh, 11 o'clock expansion and the 9 o'clock expansion has total 8 mineral fields. You can see there are also <coughs> 8 mineral fields, but you have the access to take double Vespin Geyser. So once you secure this expansion, you have the, the number of Vespin ga uh, gas that you can get. And we got to see uh, it is going to be eight marine, eight marine into two medic follow up for Royal. Immediately putting down the eBay. So far, looking decent. More of a SCB production, and at the same time, scouting SCB will be sneaking in. Okay, it will go inside of uh, Hero's main base and see what kind of tech uh, Hero right now has. 
hero has fire attack we heard of constant station just went off so he used the constant station at the natural and confirm how much of a drone right now he has so he has a lot of drone you can get to see there are only four zerglings oh actually uh okay i turned off the wrong vision earlier so um oh yeah that was my bad so i think he is the first skin somewhere so he he probably used the first skin okay he used the first skin over here at the five o'clock side because that uh that is something very weird like normally zerg usually takes the third expansion at the nine o'clock side but he had the scouting scb at the nine o'clock side for a very long time and he also climbed up to hero's main base he didn't get to see the th inner side third hatchery so i guess he's kind of expected the uh, hero will be taking an expansion at the five o'clock side but uh, five o'clock side but there is no uh hatchery over there finally barracks uh lifted and landing okay this is a super fast uh, factory what we are seeing uh range upgrade is on the way uh factory seems really really fast to me over here right now six minutes and 17 seconds okay he's finally getting the console station but uh, this starport timing 620 seconds and with only two barracks uh i'm not sure whether this is a good play because he's starting to get some of a uh, more of a mirrorless harassment here losing a couple more of a scv nice mira micro picking up a couple more of a scv as well and finally uh royal will be adding more barracks which is something that we really need to uh, we need to be watching at and we now see hero adding more more of a drone okay we get to see two comps station just use checking uh, what hero is doing he's you get to see the evolution chamber plus the 11 o'clock expansion so here uh royal should know by now something is coming what's coming it's it is called crazy zerg and whenever you're playing against crazy zerg you always want to prioritize on the plus one and plus two and also plus three upgrade on the way at asap but so far nothing is going crazy only three back uh three barracks with the only one star port uh i think he's decided to go for the valkyrie opening so interesting um late valkyrie i should say but um hero has a lot of middles there are nine middles total hype tech is already on the way third gas is also going on look at how much of a drone right now hero has he's finally taking this uh, third gas and even he also has the access of taking this uh, fourth gas as well so now he's gonna be pretty much boosting up all those uh vesping gas mining time with the four gas at the uh, double gas at the 11 o'clock side so he will have double four gas and that's a, such a nice macro picking a one mira a uh, one marine but did not lose uh, any of a uh, middle so far there are only eight middle but here is a uh, valkyrie intercepting the middle who will be harassing uh, hero should be aware of that uh, Valkyrie. More barracks is being added. That is going to be total 5 barracks for uh, Royal. And we get to see this is about uh, nearly 2. Okay, this is 2 groups with a 3 Medic and a single Valkyrie moving out for Royal. And we see how many this is. Uh, 11 plus 3, so that is... Um, I cannot really do the math today. Uh, 14 mutilus with a couple couple of scourges, but scourges were taking some uh, Valkyrie shots from there. Gotta be careful. Oh, more Valkyries are just now moving out. But the Valkyrie uh, is getting targeted by the scourge, but will really be able to fix, uh, save? Yes, he will be saving it. And that's a, such a very nice uh, Valkyrie backshot uh, micro or backfire micro i should say here are those uh, valkyrie doing some uh, micro we got to see plus two on the way at nine minute 20 ish second and let's see about uh, armor two upgrade armor two hasn't started yet for hero he hero has a lot of vespin gas but he has been squeezing all of his money for additional sunken at the natural because he has had he was having so much of pressure and he's going to be also cutting up uh, mining the gas time he look at this he only mined 120 vespin gas at the uh, 11 o'clock expansion because he needed those uh, mineral boosts and added more of a sunken colony over here 
we get to see 35 workers for hero and rest of them is just pretty much mass mutal us with a couple of uh, zergling out on the map but these valkyries are doing such a great micro picking up all the scourges and mutal will go down that really hurts more emetics being added <gasps> what is this oh no that is this is going to be something very spicy built what we are going to be seeing by royal but we don't see uh, the nuclear silo yet. We still see double. Okay, he's finally using these composite station, breaking his composite station, and we'll be adding the nuclear silo. Should be adding the nuclear silo by now, but I guess he doesn't have enough money. When he has enough money, I don't know how much a nuclear silo costs. I think it's a one, 150 mineral plus 100 investment gas. I want to see how much it costs. But here is going to be the battle engagement. The three Valkyries are still alive and Hero is not paying attention of his army. Nuclear Silo is still not at it. These Valkyries are just all absolutely uh, assassinating all those Mutalists in the middle of the map. So that is definitely nice. But I think Royal totally forgot about this uh, you know, Overlord at the Natural. We get to see the factory floating all the way to the Natural. I think there should be a Ghost production probably uh, soon. Yeah, I think if uh, hero, I think if hero starts to get those uh, upgrade uh, for the late game transition, and Royal is not trying to go for any kinds of okay, here is the ghost. If he's not going for the bust, this Ultralis is just gonna be looking so uh, strong in my opinion. Look at this, like he's mining this double Vespin geyser, uh, or I should say double uh, extractors. And look at the number of uh, Ultralis right now. He's getting all the way up to 5, 7, 8, even 9. And more Ultralis just literally coming out from those eggs. Look at this. The uh, Ultralis speed is also on the way as well. These couple of Mutalis and uh, Scourge will be just trying to move around. I guess he really wants to get this to Science Festival, but he will be able to get the Science Festival? I guess not. I guess he will be focusing on getting the Valkyrie, but he was not able to get a Valkyrie. And uh, finally, we get to see the nuclear silo is upgrading the nuke weapon, the nuclear weapon, on the way halfway done. Where is the ghost? Okay, here is the ghost. That is an uh, interesting hockey, what I'm seeing. Uh, I like to see how uh, professional players do the hockey sometimes and we see Royal is hockeying the science vessel with the ghost just like how, um, how uh, Artosis usually does and we see that is definitely a lot of army moving out but here are a couple of army who got uh, intercepted gotta be careful yeah that is definitely uh, a lot of army we see here is the engagement, but the ghost is still staying in the middle of the uh, marine force. But this ghost, I think um, Hero definitely knows uh, the ghost is over there. And this Ultralis does have the armor to upgrade, but does not have the melee upgrade. But uh, we don't see much of a marine store remaining. And nice Scourge connecting all those uh, science vessels blowing up just like a balloon. But, oh no, he lost the battle. That, uh... Oh, medic with the, okay, that medic wasn't really necessary, but uh, Tall medic was actually supporting the fight so well, and now he has the ghost, and here is the ghost nuclear. We hear the nuclear weapon is going to be dropping in next couple seconds, but we don't see any of our hero's army. Hero uh, pulls his drone all the way to down, but oh, he's trying. I think he's trying, he's desperately trying to get this ghost, but he got the ghost, but the nuclear will go down, and the sunken will go down as well at the same time. And now all those sunken colonies desperately, uh, he doesn't, he doesn't have much of a remaining sunken colony to defend this, because this marine force is just way too strong right now. 3-2 upgrade is also on the way for, uh, Royal and Hero types GG, he couldn't keep up the game anymore. That was a fantastic timing attack with the ghost strategy that we we don't really get to see like we have seen the nuclear silo build in the previous uh asl season where nada was playing against larva on um, blockchain and nada has gone for uh, that the nuclear build against uh larva it was I don't, I don't recall whether it worked or not but it was something that i i can remember and we now i think uh, this is one of the strategies we're gonna be seeing again like he pulled it out so well 
That was a good play by Royal. Thank you for watching and if you guys enjoy watching these great games on StarCast TV, please hit the like and subscribe button. We will bring more fabulous game in the future.